In this video, let me show you how to trigger an event in jQuery and also how to differentiate between a human-made event and a triggered event. So to illustrate this, let me first add two buttons. Button with ID btn1 and with text 1. Sorry, 1. And let me add one more button. Button with ID btn2 and with text 2 okay now let me save this and show you see this is how they are now looking like let me increase the font size using style that is css so style tag is added and let me specify for buttons let me set the font size to be 25px and also let me have border radius to have rounded corners for the buttons with 5px as the value. Now on the click of the button I want to increase this number that is as of now it is 1 it should be 2 when I click once then 3 then 4 like that okay so how I can write the code I have already added the latest jQuery file let me add the script section to add the code that is jQuery code and here let me write document dot ready event so dollar document dot ready and within this let me add function open and close parenthesis and open and close curly braces and on the click of button 1 that is dollar hash btn1 dot click function and here what I want to do is that I want to get the current value within this and then increment it by 1. So this will be returned as a string value if I specify dollar this dot html and if I try to alert this alert this value it will be just 1 but it will be a string value. Let me click see it is giving 1. Suppose I want to add 1 to this one, that is plus 1, what will be the output? It will be 1, 1 because this value will be considered as a string and when I put a plus and write 1, it will be concatenating 1 as this is a string value. Let me show you. Let me save this and click this. See, it is giving 1, 1. Actually, I want this to be 2, that is this should be considered as a number and then add 1 to that. So you can actually parse int this value. For easy use, I am just multiplying this by 1 so that this will become a number. It is just a simple technique to make a string to be a number. So I am just multiplying this value with 1 so that this will become a number and when we add 1 to that, the number will be 2. Instead of this, you can actually use parse int as well. Okay. Now let me save this and show you the output. Let me click the button. See, now it has become 2. Okay, so I want to set that value as the text of this button. So what I should do, instead of alert, it should be dollar this dot HTML. That is, I'm using the HTML method here to set the value and here to get the value. So when we specify dollar this dot html as this, that value will be set for this button 1. Right? Let me save this and show you the output. Let me click. See, it became 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like that. So the value is getting changed every time I click on the button. Now next what I need to do, I want to do the same thing for button 2 as well. And also, I want to trigger this button's click. That is, when I click on this button, I want to increment the value of this text as well as I want to increment the value of this button without clicking this first button. So, how I can write that? Let me write dollar hash btn2 dot click function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and let me put the semicolon here and here let me first copy this this is to 
increment the value of second button when it is clicked. That is, let me save this. Now, if I click this, it becomes 3, 4, 5 like that. 2, 3, 4. Now, when I click this button, I actually want to change the value of this button as well. That is, I am not going to click this button, but when I click on this button, this event should also be triggered. So, for that, I can use the jQuery trigger method. So, what should I do is that I need to specify the element that is hash btn1 dot trigger and then I need to specify which event is to be triggered. Sorry, it is click event. So, what happens here is that when we use the trigger method, it actually triggers this event for this selected element and also all its behaviors or the default behaviors will be triggered. So, what will happen now? When we click on this button, its value will be changed. Along with that, this click event will be triggered, which means the value of the first button will also be changed. Now, let me save this and show you. Now, it is 1 and 2. Let me click on this. See, this became 3 and this became 2 because this event is automatically triggered without any human click. Let me click this again. See, 4 and 3, 5 and 4. Now, if I click on this, this became 5, but this event is not triggered. That is, this button is not clicked. 6, 7, 8. Let me click. See, 6 and 9, 7 and 10, 8 and 11, like that. So, on the second button's click, we are actually triggering the click event of the first button as well. So, like this, you can trigger any event, not only click event, you can even trigger select, change, etc. Now, in this video itself, let me also show you how to differentiate between a human created event and a triggered event. So, to illustrate this, let me have a div element with id say box and also another button with id btn trigger and text trigger. So, what I am going to do is that when this div element is clicked, I am going to change its color and also when this button is clicked, we will trigger the click event of this div element and then we will decide which event was triggered. That is whether it is a triggered event or a human made event. Okay. So, let me first style this div element a bit. So, let me access the div element using its id box and let me just specify the width and height of this width as 100 px height also as 100 px and let me set a border of 2 px solid black i am not setting any color for this development as of now okay now let me save this and show you see 1 2 this is the development we have added and also this is the trigger button let me add a margin of say 10 px to have some gap so margin 10 px now, what I am going to do is that on the click of this div element, I will change its color and on the click of this button, I will trigger the click event of this div element and check whether it is a human made click or a triggered click. Okay. So, for that, here let me write dollar hash box dot click. On the click of this, I want to write function open and close parenthesis, open and close curly braces and let me write dollar this dot css of background to be dark pink. Okay. And here I am going to make a check. So, for that check we need to pass the event of this function here and we will write if event dot original event if it is equal to undefined it means that it is a triggered click or a triggered event because this event dot original event will be a mouse event if it is a human made click so before checking this let me just show you alert event dot original event okay now, let me save this and show you the output. Let me click on this. See, it is a mouse event. 
which means that when it is a human created event it is not undefined it is having an object as the value so if it is equal to undefined what does that mean it is not a human made event it is a triggered event so in that case let me specify alert triggered event and let me also specify color changed and in the else what does that mean the value will be not equal to undefined in that case it is a human made event so i can specify the message like human click and color changed so here instead of event we can specify click right now we have written the code for the click of the div element next i want to trigger this on the button click that is on the trigger button click so it is btn trigger so here let me specify dollar hash btn trigger dot click function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and here let me just trigger the event of the box element that is dollar hash box dot trigger what is the name of the event this again a click event now let me save this and show you let me click the div element okay i haven't removed it let it be there we will remove it later it is showing human click color changed okay but the color is not changed why background okay i think there is no color named dark pink let me change this to just pink and check okay the name of the color was wrong that is the reason why the color was not changed okay now let me refresh this and click on this trigger see now we are seeing undefined that is the value of event dot original event is undefined okay so it is showing triggered click color changed see it is showing as a triggered click so using this original event we can identify whether it is a triggered event or a human created or a human made event so here if the value is undefined it means that it is a triggered click and otherwise it will be having value something like mouse event or something right so there we are showing human click and color changed so let me remove this i just added it to show you okay so in this video we have seen how to use the trigger method in jquery to trigger an event which is already defined and also seen how to differentiate between a triggered event and a human made event